most of all, the most important thing about you doing this work and being a representative of the divine truth is you having confidence in who they truly are. Believe in them. Believe in them. Believe in them. That's the most important thing you could possibly do outside of believing in yourself is believing in them. Yes, they're going to express a bunch of distortion and do a bunch of this and, and so on and so forth. And people are all going to be all over the place and hooping and hollering and arguing and doing all kind of disgusting things with their time and energy. But you have to know that deep within those individuals are you. Within each and every one of those individuals, within them, at the heart of them, they're just a child, a child just like you are, attempting to figure this thing out. And they're doing the absolute best that they can. You were there before. All the stuff that they're doing, you've done before. Tenfold. I say tenfold because that was required for you to come to a space of maturity. You had to get dirty and do all of that mess in order to come to a place of self-recognition and self-realization. You had to do all that stuff. All the things that you're judging people for and pointing the thing, you had to do that. You had to, you've done, you'd been done it, been there, done that already a long time ago. You've been did it. You been did it. So you ain't got the right to be pointing the finger at nobody. You done been did it. <laughs> That's how you got here. That's how you got here. That's how you awoke. That's how you woke up. That That is the only way in which you came to a place of maturity through experiencing that mess. You did it. And of course, you experienced the karma for that situation a couple times. And now you know it ain't cool. That ain't cool. You had to do it. So now you know better. Now you know better. And that's a great thing. It's a great thing you know better now. But let them learn just like you had to. All that high posting and being righteous and all that, and no, we awaken and this, all of, that ain't um, mm -mm. that ain't how masters move. No, that's not how we move. Empathy, we understand because we've been there before. I've done that before. I know how that feels. I recognize the thought process that's required to be in that space. And just like me, eventually you will understand. But my work, me being uh, mature or being a leader or being the older brother or older sister, if you will, is in me recognizing where you are and allowing you to do that without contempt, without judgment, without me projecting and being mad at you for doing it. No, I understand. You got to do what you got to do to figure it out. I got it. I love you. It's cool. If you ask me, I'm going to tell you the truth, but I'm not going to attempt to stop you. Because whatever you decide is necessary for you to realize more of yourself. That's necessary for you. I love you. But I'm not going to try to stop you from doing what you're doing. This is the same approach. This is the same energy that, you're, that <laughs> the angelic guardians have with you each and every day. Each and every day, that level of compassion, that level of empathy. Every day, observing the actions and some of the, in your past and all the, all the times you didn't lie to people and stole 
and tried to uh, work the system and do all this stuff. We've been looking the whole time. <laughs> been looking the whole time. And now it's your turn to be a, a, a loving, accepting guardian. Being able to observe and allow. Now it's your turn. Can you accept them? Can you accept yourself? Can you maintain an unconditionally loving presence without judgment? Now it's your turn. When you're able to do this fully, then you recognize yourself as a physical angel. This is angelic energy. 